any foreigners coming to Japan are always told to take a lot of cash. I know I was concerned about this when I was coming. Imagine there are others like myself who hate traveling around with a lot of cash. After living here for almost four years, the short answer is yes, you still do need to carry cash. But in 2023, I think you don't need to carry hundreds of thousands on you like you did, let's say, 15 years ago. I will cover seven options that allows tourists and foreign residents the ability to move around with less cash, shop online, and send money home. Let's get into the video. One, your train pass, aka IC card. I know it literally has the word train and pass, but you can use your train pass, Suica, Pasmo, Icoca, for a seamless experience of topping up your card to pay for transportation, shopping, dining, and more. It costs about 500 N to purchase the physical card. You can top up your physical card at the train station, or you can download the app and use it on your smartphone or smartwatch. Check out the link below to download the virtual Suica. Two, line pay. This is another way to go cashless. With line pay, you can top up at a convenience store and use your phone to make purchases. At the bottom of your line app, click wallet, then click charge, and you will get different options to add money. I go to a 7-Eleven and top up at the ATM. You can even get a virtual visa card. However, this visa option is only available for residents, including foreign residents. Otherwise, you can top up your line pay and use this to make purchases all over Japan. Three, your visa cards. Before coming, I was led to think that my visa card wouldn't work here. That perception is definitely not true. Most businesses in Japan accept overseas visa cards. Just call your bank and ensure your bank is aware that you will be traveling to Japan. That way, they can unlock your card so that you can use it without any troubles. Four, PayPay Pay app. This is another popular virtual method of payment that is easy to use. After you have downloaded the app, you can easily go to a 7-Eleven and top up your PayPay Pay app and use it as a virtual payment method. This is one of my least favorite methods because it's still not widely used everywhere, but you can use it at a convenience store and also at many restaurants. For foreigners living here, the last three options are definitely for you. We often shop online and when you've just arrived, you'll need a visa card. There are several options you can easily access to receive a card. 5. Sony Bank Card This card can be used for shopping in stores as well as shopping online worldwide. The bank doesn't have a physical location, however, they offer full support in English. There are also several intermediary banks you can use to top up your card nationwide. You are also able to change your money to other foreign currencies and transfer money to foreign accounts. You can use it at any POS machine unlimited. 6. 7 Bank Card This can be used for online shopping and over the counter. You can also use it on some foreign websites including Amazon US and others. You can send money from one account to your 7 Bank account or you can simply go to the ATM and add money to your card. The major benefit of the 7 Bank card is that it allows you the convenient option of sending money overseas to your loved ones via Western Union. I send money back home frequently and this option is one of the main reasons why I have the card. You can send money at any time from the 7-Eleven ATM. 7. Epox Visa Card Similar to the Sony Bank and the 7 Bank card, the Epoch card allows you to shop online without hassle. You can easily apply for this card online. With an Epoch card in your wallet, you can enjoy a host of perks including exclusive discounts, cashback rewards, and special offers at a wide range of participating retailers. Say goodbye to carrying multiple loyalty cards as an Epoch card consolidates them into one convenient solution. This was a short video of some of the cashless options I use in Japan daily that I think would be great for tourists and foreign residents. If you know of any others, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Hey, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.